welcome dear students today we are going to discuss about the introduction of polynomials and in this area we are going to cover some of the topics firstly numerical terms next variables term and expression types of expressions and degree of expressions and uh, coming to like terms of an expression okay let us start let's uh, enter to the subject first here 1 2 3 these are called numerical terms we know that these are counting numbers actually but in polynomials in the area of polynomials we are going to say these 1 2 3 counting numbers are numerical terms and also they are also called as constants they are also called as constants and next x y z the english alphabets are called variables these are called variables is it counting numbers 1 2 3 are called constants or numerical terms x y z are called variables or these are also called as literal terms what do we call this literal terms okay and let's coming to constants and variables when you combine these constants and variables i mean the collection of constants and variables by connecting plus symbol minus multiplication symbol into division symbol if you connect them if you connect the constants and variables by using these symbols one of the four operation symbol then we get an expression let us see for example this is x plus 3 x variable and 3 is a constant this variable and constant both are connected both are combined with the help of the symbol plus so therefore now this is called this new form is called an expression this is called an expression so what do you mean by an expression expression is the combination or the collection of constants and variables constants and variables for example one more example let us take one more example y minus 3 y minus 3 y is a variable and 3 is a constant so therefore finally you can say that an expression is nothing but the collection the collection of constants and variables they are connecting they are connecting with the help of one of the four operations symbol plus minus multiplication symbol into or division so this is called an expression and next coming to next one term so what is term here if you take an expression for example I have taken here 3y minus 3 3y minus 3 this is a this is an expression yes this is an expression and here each part of the expression each part of the expression means here how many parts we have we have two parts number one and two first term first one and second one and these there are two parts of the expression but each part is called a term so what do you mean by term term is each part of an expression if it is an expression and we have two terms 3y and it is a term this is a term and 3 is also a term so therefore we have two terms in this expression and to take one more example for example 6x plus 9 here also we have two terms 
and what do we call here uh, what do we call 6x and 9 6x is a term this is a term and 9 also is a term so therefore finally each part of an expression is called term okay so coming to the next concept types of expression how many types of expressions are there let us see types of expressions that depends on the number of terms it consists of now here i have taken a single term so therefore single term only one term is there if one term is there then this expression is called monomial this is called monomial mono mono means single term expression only one term is there and next coming to 4x plus 3y we have two terms first term and the second term there are two terms in this expression if an expression consists of two terms then it is known as binomial and this is called binomial so you know that by by means two terms so therefore if two terms are there in an expression then it is called a binomial and coming to the next one 6x minus 2y plus 5 now you know that here we have three terms 1 2 3 there are three terms in an expression so therefore an expression it is an expression an expression which consists of three terms 1 2 3 three terms then it is called trinomial this is called trinomial so in the word itself meaning is there so tri tri means three therefore if three terms are there in an expression then it is known as trinomial so like that you can take many examples you take one more example for monomial can you say what is a can you give one more example for monomial so let us see 9 y only one term is there even you take 9 9 also is a monomial why because 9 is a constant polynomial this is called a constant polynomial 9 is a constant it is a constant term and you take z only one term that is also monomial but variable it is a literal literal polynomial okay coming to binomial already have explained if two terms are there binomial can you give one more example come on can you say okay 5y minus 9 two terms are there binomial and you take 6z plus 1 two terms are there binomial so like that you can take your own examples and coming to third one trinomial trinomial already we have taken one example 6x minus 2y plus 5 you take one more example 9z minus 3y plus 6 we have three terms therefore this is also a trinomial so like this you can take examples of monomial binomial and trinomial and coming to the next one okay one term monomial two terms binomial and three terms means trinomial for example if two or more than two terms are there two or more than two terms means greater than two if two or more than two terms are there 
Then what do we call that an expression? Let us see. You take uh, 4x plus 3y minus 6 plus z. This is also an expression. But here we have more than two terms. We have more than two terms. This is called polynomial. This is called polynomial. So what do you mean by poly? Poly. Polynomial. Polynomial can be divided into two words. If you split into two words and you see poly and nomial. What do you mean by poly? Poly means many. Poly means many terms. So polynomial is an expression which consists of many terms. Many means two or more than two terms. And nomial means is a term. What is the meaning of nomial? Poly many, nomial term. So many terms expression. Many terms expression is called a polynomial. And there is one more expression that is multinomial. What is this? Multinomial. So then what do you mean by multinomial? There is a difference between polynomial and multinomial. Multinomial also is an expression which consists of many terms, more than three terms, is multinomial. And here also we have more than three terms, is polynomial. But what is the difference between multinomial and more polynomial? So that we'll discuss later. And first of all, this is multinomial and it is called polynomial, many terms expression. And coming to next concept, degree of expression. How do we find the degree of an expression? If an expression is given, then how do you identify? What would be the degree of that expression? So now let us see. And the next concept is degree of expression. How? What is degree of expression? Let us see. You take one example. 4x square plus 3x plus 8. And it is a, it is an expression. And now we should find degree of this expression. Actually, what is a degree? So degree means the highest exponent, the highest exponent of the variable of an expression. What is degree? Degree is nothing but the highest exponent, exponent powers, the highest exponent of variable. So now let us check variables first. This is a variable x is a variable and here also we have a variable but in the form of x to the power of 0 you know that already you have learnt in your previous classes we know that x to the power of 0 is 1 any number to the power of 0 is 1 we know that and here the first variable is x square the exponent is 2 and second term first term variable exponent is 2 second term variable what is the exponent actually there is no power but one is there one will be there so the second term variable exponent is one first term variable two second term variable is one and the last term that is third term variable is variable exponent is zero means once you tell me what are the degrees two is there one is there and zero is there in this, what is the highest exponent, which is the greatest number? Generally, you know, 2 is greatest number. 2 is greatest number. So, therefore, we can say that 2 is the degree of this expression. So, what is the degree of this expression? Is 2. Why? Means, what is the definition? What is the definition of degree? Degree is nothing but the highest exponent of 
variable of an expression. So like that, I take one more example, then you can understand perfectly. And a second example, you take one more example. So 4x square plus 3x cube plus 6x minus 9. I have taken a multinomial, a multinomial expression. Now once observe this properly, everybody you please check here. I have taken one more example. I have taken a multinomial with four terms. Now you observe one by one. First term, second, third and fourth. Now you give me the exponents of the variable. Observe the only variables. Variable x, variable x, variable x. You know that here x to the power of 0. Just now we have discussed. And here, what is the exponent of this variable? 2. So, first term, here the first term exponent is 2. First term variable exponent. And second term variable exponent is 3. Third term variable exponent is 1. And finally, coming to the last term, the exponent is 0. Now, once you check, you can understand perfectly. We have 2, 3, 1, 0 as the exponents of the variable. Now, come on, say, what is the highest number? Here, 3 is the highest number. 3 is the highest number. So, here, this 3 is the highest number. You observe only the exponent. Only the exponent. The 3 is the highest exponent. Therefore, the degree, degree of this expression is 3. You can say that degree of this expression is 3. So, once again, let me repeat the definition of expression, degree of expression. Degree of expression is nothing but the highest exponent of the variable of an expression. An expression consists of terms in that observe the exponents of the variables and you find out what is the highest exponent. So the highest exponent, that number is nothing but degree of that particular expression. Okay, so this is about degree of expression.